Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Daniel, and I'm from Developer on Call. Now, I've had a numerous requests for somebody to show them exactly how to do an install on Dolphin. So I'm going to use Dolphin version 7.04. Now, there are a few prerequisites that you're going to need. First, you have to go to... Uh, Bunex to get the software. Now the first thing you should do when you get to Bunex is sign up for an account. So you just create the account here. And uh, I won't walk through all that for you. So after you have the Bunex software downloaded to your system, which you can get from the home page here, if you click on the get started, <clears throat> it gives you a bunch of stuff. You don't have to pay. This is uh, just a promo. You could buy a license after you have it installed. Okay. So you click on the download and it brings it down to your system. So now in order to install it, you're going to need a hosting company. I personally recommend uh, Developer's Choice. They have uh, great services. Uh, actually, my, my uh, support team handles their, their uh, support calls for 12 hours of the day, uh, which helps them give them 24-7 uh, support for their customers. So, uh, and even if you're not going with developer's choice. Everybody, including Boonex, will try and push you towards getting a dedicated server. You do not need a dedicated server. That is a complete waste of money. If you do want to waste your money, uh, dedicated servers are pretty uh, inexpensive at uh, developer's choice. What you do need is a very small account. Uh, you can get the $3.49 accounts, but you're going to end up with problems on those puny little servers. Uh, and you don't get, get very much uh, bandwidth and whatnot with them. So I suggest the quickie here, the developer's choice. Uh, it's nine, ten bucks a month, something like that. So after you have that, you have your hosting account, you're going to need to go to your hosting account. Okay, and you're going to need to create a database. So let's actually, why don't we get started with the upload. So that'll be doing that in the background. I use uh, Cyberduck. And you upload the Dolphin 7.4 or 7.04 into the root directory for your server. Now, if you go to your cPanel, uh, cPanels normally look different. I have a dedicated server, so I get this header up here. But you'll have, probably have a header from your hosting company. Um, first, we're going to go into the file manager. Okay, and we're going to decompress the Dolphin uh, product, first of all. Now, I'm uh, in China right now, so my internet is a little bit slower than yours probably is. So this might take a little while to come up. While that is, I'm going to show you something. Uh, these guys here have a lot of uh, tutorials and resources that can help you market your community. Uh, their whole um, focus, if you look at the uh, home page, their whole focus is marketing community websites. Uh, they have tools and resources and free stuff you can give your, your customers in exchange for signing up. Uh, squeeze page templates, graphic templates, everything you could possibly think of uh, to market your community you can get at earningportal.com. Uh, I'll show you another time what my favorite uh, video tutorial is, but for now uh, go check it out yourself. It's earningportal.com. So let's get back to the file manager. Now I have lots of stuff in here, but let's go straight to the D7 install. You're going to go to your public HTML directory, but I'm not putting this on the root of anything. So you select the Dolphin install file, the one you downloaded from Boonex, and you choose to extract, which is this one up here. It's going to ask you where you want to put it. You want to put it, you're probably just going to be putting it right inside this public HTML directory, but I'm putting it in the subdomain, so it's going to go in this D7 directory here. Now that usually doesn't take very long, and you'll notice it fills this directory full of files for Dolphin. The first thing you can do is get rid of the. Uh, uh, do, 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 sorry, wrong one. You should get rid of the Dolphin install file. Now there are two ways to do this. If you go to, uh, let's bring up a new tab here. Let me go to D7. Oops. Uh, developer on call. Um, 
it's going to tell you the script is not installed and you have to install it. Okay, so when you click on the install, it's going to give you a whole list of files, uh, eventually, that you need to change the permissions on. So, you can do that in your cPanel file manager by clicking in the different directories and then clicking up here to change your permissions. That is a very long way to do it, considering the number of files that you have to do. So, I use uh, Cyberduck, like I said. So let's refresh. Refresh that now that I have uh, extracted all the files in here. So now you're just going to flip back and forth between your FTP program and uh, your Dolphin install. So let's go and first do the ink. No, and then you take back up. It's up here. And you do this in order. And then you cache, you cache public lane, so just down here. And uh, let's stop there and I'll show you. In CyberDuck, you grab the info, and then you simply you know, put it on the wrong screen. You change all these to right. Okay. Okay, so you change all those to have the right permissions. And close that. Okay, I'm going to put the video on pause just for a quick second. Get some of this done. Go ahead and do all of the files that it recommends for you to uh, change the permissions on, and then we'll come back when that's all done. Okay, I want to just touch on something. You'll notice here on uh, all of these files here that it seems like a lot, but uh, it's quite simple to do it if you just go through your, uh, X, or your FTP program and expand all of the XML directories under your flash modules. Uh, and then when you, once you get them all expanded, then go up and do them. So you're always using them under the XML. It's always config, langs, main, and skins. So you're doing that on all of them. Config, langs, main, and skins. And then, uh, config, langs, main, skins. Config, main. Uh, I forgot one up here, so let's bring that one up. Config langs main skins. Config langs main skins. Config langs main skins. And then we're going to just take those ones and again get the info and change them all to. So down here so you can see it. 777. Okay. It might take a while. And I'll let you get back to uh, doing all of those yourself. And we'll see you in a moment. Okay, and by now you probably have all of these things in green now. Okay, so they all say they're all good to go. You can click on next. Okay. Uh, you know, after you're doing, after you check a bunch of them, just make sure. Uh, click on the check again to make sure they're all green, and then click your next button. Now, you're going to need to go to your control panel and go to, I'll go straight down, it looks something like this, databases, and you want to want to click on MySQL databases. And I have a whole bunch in here, but we're just going to call this one D7 test. Okay, so you're going to create the database. Okay, now you also need to add a user for that database, so we're going to call this the user again, D7 test, just to make it easy, and I'm going to give it the... Uh, Testing is the password. Doesn't like that one, but we'll do it anyway. Oh, it must be five. Okay, so let's do this one as two testing two two. Okay. Two testing two two. Alright. So we created the user. There's a password in the user. Okay, you're not done yet, because now you have to give that user access to that database. So in your user add user to database, you're gonna go find the user you just Created, and you're going to find the database that you just created, which is uh, D7 test, and you're going to add the user to the database. The next screen will give you what kind of privileges you want to give this user in the database, and for Dolphin to work properly, you have to give all privileges. So you click on the All Privileges button, and you click Make Changes. Now keep this screen up because it's an easy way to go back over here 
Now make sure all of this is in green and click Next. Okay, now you'll notice that here is your database information. Okay, but we've just created the database over here, so we can just copy and paste into the database name and the database user. And we're going to go to testing tutu. I think that's the password. And I'll click next. Now we're going to give it a title. Uh, you might want to call this. This is the greatest community in the world. But we're just going to call this one uh, test community. Is that going to spell? Uh, this is a test of Dolphin's wonderful application. So you want to do it in at yourdomain.com. Okay. We'll do uh, developer on Kong, but then uh, select that one. Okay. Uh, notify email. I want to do, uh, we'll leave that. Put them all in the same because uh, if there's something that goes wrong, um, you bug report email. So if you, you have a developer, you're going to want to change this to, to that developer's email so he gets the uh, any problems that go on with the database. So we're going to go to testing. To do as our password again there, okay, and let's go ahead and click next. Now, this is very important that you take this right here and you put it inside your cron job. What is a cron job? Cron job runs things at certain times of the day uh, automatically. Um, I mean, Dolphin has very many tasks it takes care of in the cron for you. It checks for uh, problems and also creates your matches, sends notifications and whatnot. You don't want it to run every minute. So every minute it's going to run. Okay, see what that's what these four stars mean. Every minute, every hour, every day. So you're going to take this part here from the CD across to the .php and take it back over to your cron. Here it is, is your command. Paste it into your command and click add the cron job. Okay, check this too. Uh, it should be, if this is your first time in Cron, it's probably set wrong. So go in here and change this email to something that, uh, that works properly for you. All right, let's go back over here and click Next. It's now going to tell you to change ink so it's non-writable. Okay, so go back over to your over here. Let's get rid of all this stuff over here. Let's go back up to ink. And we don't want that one to be writable anymore, so we'll just... Uh, that one. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm going to skip it. You click on next. Now install directory. What I do, uh, well, I'm going to tell you what I always change it to, but this time we're just going to change it to, let's say, install XX. Okay. Then the server no longer sees it's there. You can delete it if you want, but I may come back and reinstall this script again uh, for another video, so I'm going to leave it there. Okay, so now it's going to tell you once you remove the directory, you can go ahead and start installing modules in the admin panel. So uh, we'll end the install video there, and we'll come back uh, with a little uh, jib jab over the uh, modules and how to install them and which ones you need for your website. Before I go, I do want to mention uh, just a word of warning. Don't uh, register your domain at your host. That locks your domain in at that hosting company. If you decide to change your hosting company, it's very difficult, uh, or at least time consuming, to get your domain over to your new host. So what I use, and what a lot of people use, is this uh, GoDaddy service. GoDaddy is great. I'm not going to give you an affiliate link or anything like that, so I'm not trying to make any money off of it. But uh, you can choose your domain name here. It doesn't matter where you host it. Uh, you just so simply go in and change the IP address and, and name servers uh, depending on your host settings. So uh, it's much better for you in the long run to, to register your host, your domain at GoDaddy and uh, use your hosting service somewhere else. Do not use GoDaddy hosting for a Dolphin website. They, they don't work very well. There's a lot of tweaks you have to make to make it function correctly and I don't recommend GoDaddy as your hosting company. So for now, I uh, hope I see you again in the next recording. I'll probably do that right now um, for installing modules and how to operate the Dolphin admin panel. Uh, take care, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye now.